This is Fred with Wentworth CCTV of New England and today we are doing a product review on the Netgear Wi-Fi 5 brand of routers. This one is an AC7500. They also have AC1000s, um, AC1900s. They have a bunch of different Netgear routers. Um, today we'll be covering hooking this up and also networking it with the Nighthawk phone app that Netgear makes. So this is pretty applicable to any Netgear router. Okay, um, we're going to unbox it. And in the box, um, you'll see the router itself. It's got two omnidirectional antennas um, that will broadcast your Wi-Fi. It's also got a QR code for the app as well as your SSID, your broadcast um, name and your password or passkey which on this one is Fuzzy Kayak 096. You gotta love those. Um, it also tells you that you can manage it on the Nighthawk app. Now there are a lot of routers on the market. Um, Linksys and Netgear are the two most common. Um, I will tell you for uh, almost any purpose, um, Netgear is the best. The app is the best, the performance is the best, the um, management interface is the best, the phone app, so on and so forth. So I highly recommend the Netgear router. Um, you can purchase this model on our website. You can also find it at Walmart, Best Buy, Amazon, um, wherever you want to buy it. So to hook it up, on the back you will see a blue port um, right there. That is your Ethernet jack. You will plug this into that. The other part of the cable, uh, the Ethernet cord, will plug into your modem from your internet service provider. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do that. There's also obviously a power plug that comes with this. Um, you'll have to plug that into the back, into the power jack, and plug this into a wall outlet. Once you do that, the router will show up automatically online, and we will take it from there as far as program. Okay, so what we want to do now is go to our app store, and for uh, Android phones it's a play store um, you know on your iPhone it's it's also your app store but you're gonna type Nighthawk which is Netgear's um, app for router management okay and we are going to go ahead and install that as you see my phone says open because the app is already installed on my phone but we will open it and once connected, we're going to do a new system setup um, and we'll get started. And we have a Wi Fi router. So, this is telling us to scan the QR code on your Nighthawk sticker or base. We covered that when we unpackaged the router. Um, so, we will enable um, our scanning tool and we will scan that. It says you'll be prompted to connect to this network shortly. So we're going to hit continue. Um, it's going to tell you to locate your modem, to unplug the power supply to your modem from your internet service provider. That would be Atlantic Broadband, Spectrum, Comcast, the modem they gave you um, that this router is connected to. We're going to unplug it. Um, we're going to plug it back in and wait till the lights turn on. Um, we've already connected. And we're going to wait for everything to power back on. Okay. 
Okay, so it has rebooted. Um, that process probably took three minutes. Um, and now you will see Netgear 32 is showing up as a Wi-Fi option um, in your Wi-Fi devices. Okay, so we're going to connect to that. It's asking for the password, and that is the password that's on the QR code, the sticker on the Netgear router. Um, we said during the unpackaging it was Fuzzy Kayak 096. And we're going to connect. And once you do that, we are going to start programming the router via the phone app. So doing it this way, there's no logging into the router with a laptop and configuring SSIDs and stuff like that. Um, we're going to do everything on the phone. So here it says the admin password is used to log into your router's web interface. Secure your network by changing the admin password. So we're going to put a administrative password on your router. And this can be anything you want. Um, just don't forget it. And the security questions are in the event you forget that password, you'll be able to reset it. Um, so your oldest sister's name, that's Easy Cricket. She's much older. And then your father's middle name. I'm not going to say that out loud. You can see it anyway. But after you answer those questions, go ahead and click Next. You could print this if you wanted to keep the router broadcast um, IDs, what they come from, um, the factory has. I always suggest changing those to customize them and also to make them more secure. Um, but it will print your username and administrative password for the router, which could be handy in the future. So go ahead and hit the green next button. And the firmware upgrade assistant is making those changes. Now we are getting a message that says um, a newer version of the firmware has been found. Do you want to upgrade to the newer version? Yes, we always want the newer, more secure version of our firmware. So we'll let that download. It should take a few seconds. While the firm grade upgrade uh, takes place, the router will actually um, reboot itself. Once the firmware is installed, it will automatically reboot itself. Before we reconnect using our phone app to that Netgear 32 SSID, we're going to wait for all three of these lights to turn green. One is a power button, one is the Wi-Fi signal or indicator in the middle, and the last icon is the green earth you see to the right. That lets us know we are connected um, to our modem and we have active internet. Okay, so we want to wait till all of those are green, and now we will reconnect um, using our phone's Wi-Fi selector. All right, so we are back to our Wi-Fi search settings, and we will go to Network and Internet. Um, and there's our Netgear 32, and we're going to have to sign in after the reboot, I believe. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it connected us. Good. So let's go back to our Netgear app. Okay, um, and now you should see a screen similar to this. We want to go into our Wi-Fi settings, um, and you'll see the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz frequencies. This is a dual band router, so it operates on both the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz platform. 2.4 is a stronger, more penetrating signal. Um, if this router were in the basement and we wanted to connect to it, say on the top floor of the home, we'd want to use 
right? It, it's stronger. Um, so then the question becomes, well, Fred, if 2.4 is stronger, why would we not use that all the time? Um, very simple. Oh, my screen timed out here. Um, very simple. 5 gigahertz is much faster. Also, a lot of today's newer wireless cards prefer the 5 gigahertz frequency. Um, particularly Apple, a lot of the streaming devices, the smart TVs want 5 gigahertz. So, so that's why we have that. It's faster. Um, it's a wider band, meaning there are more channels in the 5 gigahertz frequency as well. On 2.4, there's only three channels, 1, 6, um, and 11, um, whereas on the 5 uh, gigahertz platform, we have many channels to select. So we're going to go to 2.4, and this is where we can change our broadcast ID. Um, so we will do... Um, Make your sample um, for this purpose. You would obviously put whatever you wanted to broadcast in your home. Um, password, um, fuzzy kayak 096 is kind of hard to remember um, and kind of silly. So you can customize um, your password or passkey to access the Wi Fi and make it whatever you want. Um, so we can just do giggles. You can hit the little eye there to see it. Um, and then we can go ahead and save this. We want to leave the security method as WPA PSK. That's good. Oh, I can't do that. It needs to be at least eight digits. All right. So now we have eight digits so we can save it. It's going to update our settings, which will take a second. Okay, the router has come back online, and as you can see, the app is now confused because the password has changed. So it's going to ask us to go to our uh, Wi-Fi settings and to log in using our Giggles1234. Okay, you can also tap to copy the password, which is kind of neat. Okay, so let's go back into our settings. Wi-Fi networks. Um, there is our Netgear sample, just like we named it. We can paste the Giggles password and verify it's right. And now we can connect to the broadcast SSID that we just made. As you can see, it says we are connected. Perfect. So now let's go back into the Netgear app and we want to configure the 5 gigahertz band. Again, most devices nowadays are going to want that 5 gigahertz. Um, now you can see, um, so we're all set there. We can change our 5 gigahertz to. same thing. Um, so neck your sample. And then I will put five for the 5G. Um, password. We'll do our giggles thing again. I suggest to make it easy just use the same password or network key for both the 2.4 band and the 5. Um, once we're done with that, we can save those cha changes and we're going to go through the same configuration process. Okay, so it has made our changes for the 5 gigahertz. It's telling us to do the same thing, so we're going to have to reconnect one last time. And it should be showing up as... Netgear Sample 5G. Let's see. Netgear Sample 5. So there's our Netgear Sample on the top for the 2.4. And here we are in Netgear 5. You can see it's locked. Um, 
or encrypt it. So we'll go ahead and log in using our giggles. And as you can see, we are connected. I always recommend um, doing a speed test once you have connected Wi-Fi um, to ensure you're getting good throughput. So you can go to your app store um, and pick a speed tester. Um, just type speed test. This is a good tool to have. Um, I always like the internet speed test meter. Um, so we can install that. It's a very quick install once we open it. And again, we're using our, our Wi-Fi that we just configured. Um, so it's going to give you a tutorial. Um, and we're going to start now. And we're going to X out of that. They almost got us. You don't want to pay for a speed tester. Um, but anyway, whatever speed test you select, um, it's going to show a meter and you can start the test um, and make sure you are getting um, good speed. It will tell you when it's done if you have fast internet or not. This is a high quality router and we have good speed from our internet service provider. Um, you would look typically, um, you know, 50 Mbps download speed um, and at least 10 up. Um, oh boy, I hate these ads, so let's X this. Um, and network speed exceed, it's 96%. You see the little rocket ship there saying it's fast. So we did a pretty good job there, I think. Um, and that concludes our video on the Netgear router. Um, we do have these particular models available on our website. Anything we do a product demo on, we will sell on our website. You can also get those, those routers, those Netgear uh, routers that are managed by the um, Nighthawk app, um, you know, at Walmart, on Amazon, and stuff like that. We like to see you get them from our website, but you can get them wherever you like. And also, please like uh, this video subscribe to our YouTube channel and you will be notified when we post new videos. You will also be able to contact us um, when you um, would like us to post videos on other topics to, to meet your networking and technolo technology needs.